Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Saka here, and welcome back to another episode of Crusader Kings 2 for Absolute Beginners. We are picking up where we last left off on Christmas Day 1157. We have one weak claim that can be pressed, that is to claim Vans. Um, they are down here in Brittany, so we will do no such things as these. We can hold a grand tournament, which we have plenty of money to do, but we are not going to do that. Title loss, we are going to lose a duchy and a county on succession to our tannists. Nothing we can really do about that aside from give our tannists um, that particular claim. Now, we are getting up there in age at 56 years old. If we think that we are going to die in the near future, we, we might just give it to old Demian, who does not own any land whatsoever. So if we were to grant him one of these titles, um, say the Duchy of Munster, then when we die, he will inherit that Duchy of Munster as well as our titles um, here. So that might not be a bad thing to do. One child lacks a guardian, a 3224, who is a patient boy. Good job, Rollock. Let's go ahead and get him educated by a holy member. Um, matter of fact, though, it looks like because he is our direct son, that can increase some opinion. So let's look at the, our ranks, and if any mayors or any landholders don't like us, for example, uh, Pagsden. He might become Welsh. You know what? Why not? Let's uh, use him to increase that opinion. We can righteous imprison three people, and all three people absolutely love us, so we will not be doing any such things as these. Now, we have Vassal Rev Levy's Raise Too Long penalty. That's going to go down over time the longer we are at peace, and we can press de jure ducal claims over this from England. Now, we lost it in the last war uh, with England. We surrendered that plot of land because, quite frankly, we did not want to get wrecked. Um, we only have, you know, a scant 6,000, 7,000 troops to England's 10 that they can muster. So we'll bide our time with England. Certainly that is not out of the question, but what I want to do is continue to work up here in Scotland, and Moray seems to be the way to go. Um, so what is our Chancellor doing right now? Improving diplomatic relations. Do we have any claims up there? We have a strong claim on Dyfed, which we currently own. We also have a weak claim down here, which will not be inherited unless we go to war, but we are not going to war with Leon anytime soon. I, pr I promise he had the chance to become spy master. So our courtier, who is a 13, is trying to overrun our mayor at a 12. No, our courtier can just suck it. We're going to lose... Um, he will lose a little bit of prestige, but I'd rather have a mayor who likes us as spy master rather than a random courtier for sure. The old warrior from the east has settled down in his training, proceeding well. We walk into the room and he's trying to catch a fly with wooden sticks. So this is a Karate Kid reference, catch the fly with your chopsticks. You inquire why and he explains, man who catch fly with chopstick accomplish anything. We gain martial and our training continues. However, we completed that ambition. Now what's left? To improve our stewardship and to improve our diplomacy. So our diplomacy would be much easier to improve. Dubgilla is no longer chancellor because she died a natural death at 70 years old. We have an open council position now and Dub Lemna, the princess, is an amazing diplomat. That is what I am talking about. Now we are going to use her to fabricate a claim, let's say on Moray. That seems to be a, um, a place with a lot of troops, a lot of garrison, and if we can take this for ourselves, that will set us well to take the rest of Scotland, or as much as we can. We also need to assign a commander here because our commander died. That is the coward. That is a coward. And then just personal combat skills and cowardice. So. Kenelden, you're our guy because at least you're not cowardly. So these are going to tick down while we wait for our Chancellor to fabricate us a claim in Moray. Now, do we have a non-aggression pact? Ireland, Meath, which doesn't affect us, and a poise. So we cannot go to war and claim this last little bit of land for another um, nine years or so, but it doesn't say anything about Scotland. 
So we take a boat trip with the old warrior teacher on a nearby lake, and as he fishes, you stand up and practice the moves. When am I going to learn how to punch, you ask. The man rocks the boat and you lose your footing falling to the water. You resurface to his roaring laughter. Learn how to punch after you learn how to keep dry. You all wet behind ear. We gain another martial skill. So this is going to increase our levy size for sure. Uh, we're going to start getting bonuses for um, owner martial skill. Now once our martial skill grows high enough, it will offset this penalty and we can get those troops back which is really good for us. It's a shame we're so old though, but you know, he's, he's pretty good on the, uh, on the marshal so far. All right, so as dust falls, the intense day of sparring, you watch the setting sun. I teach you many things, but most important lesson is to fight, is not to get hit. Your training is concluded. The old warrior has departed. No one saw him leave. We gain two marshal, 15 prestige. Let's take a look at that penalty now. And now we get a 5% bonus to the holdings that we own. Very worthwhile chain of events, indeed. We can hold 31 troops just ourselves. Now it's starting to look like, with some help from some mercenaries, because we are rolling in the dough, we can afford to hire some of these mercenaries and take back some of this land that was taken from us. Or we can concentrate up here on the north before England snatches it up. If England is going to make a move, that is going to be the big deciding factor. Our Tannis has had a son. That is good for us, outstanding. Those penalties are ticking away, and we can still press claims on England, and they have a non-aggression pact with us, I believe. They have a truce with us. Oh, he did. Okay, so England no longer has a truce with us. This could get interesting. Of course we are going to give him patronage. We gain the trait Proud, which gains us prestige. It erases the seventh um, virtue, which we do not have. So we will do that. We will gain 25 prestige, and we did gain the Proud trait. So we'll gain even more prestige, 4.5 a month. That is pretty good stuff. How are you doing up here in Moray? Okay. Let's check out our royal vassals, or er, our um, religious vassals. Let's just top them off. We'll send them some gifts, make sure that they like us. We can spend a little dough to ensure that they uh, will give us all of their tax money for sure. Plus, that goes to help with their levy as well. Oh, why don't you like me? There you go. Pay me. All right, Moray, let's use it. 84 gold, 115 prestige. We now have a claim on Moray. That is not gonna be passed down unless we push it in war. So we have to go and no time like the present. Let's take a look at Scotland. He's got 6,600 troops. We can muster 7,000 or so. Once we get everyone together, we should be sitting pretty. This vassal levy is raised too long, will go up, unfortunately, but I think it is well worth it to move on Moray while we still have a chance. Now, does he have any allies that we should be afraid of? No, he does not have an alliance, so we are going to do it. We are going to declare war to claim Moray, and then we gain that county if we are successful. Let's stand him up. Pause it. And you know what? Let's just call in the French. I am, let's just use them while we can. All right, our military, let's stand everyone up and get them here in Ulster, uh, primed, locked, and loaded, and ready to go. Now, the question is, do they want to cross the strait with us standing here in Ulster? My guess would be no. Now, hopefully we can make short work of these guys and... Um, crush their army before they get too big. France will join the war. He's going to corral all of his troops together, and unfortunately, he has to wait on those boats, as he normally does. Once we get three divisions here, um, our coffers are empty. You know what? We will gain some opinion. Um, lowered city taxes, that's fine. We have more than enough to offset that cost. I'm, I'm not going to sweat the small stuff here. All right, let's merge them all up and get commanders assigned. 
Khan Sheen was our center leader. Uh, on our flank, we do not want to be there. Eugenia is going to be good. And then on our other flank, 15 damage, 13 and a half damage. I think he will be good, our Duke. 5,000 troops and they are coming. Raiders have arrived to loot and pillage King Elgu, Elgo the Cruel's County of Ormond. What raiders? Oh, good frickin' night. Well, we weren't expecting that for sure. So they see, they decided that they wanted to move. So I tell you what, since we have a good army here, the rest of you can continue your march down south. That's fine. We're going to come wreck this stupid raider while he has low morale. He can just siege that down. That's fine. Of all the times for this to happen. And this is the unmarried heir. That's fine. Minimal taxes law. Don't really care right now. We've got other fish to fry. All right, join you guys all up. You guys just hold the... Uh, Hold Ulster. If they decide to move, you go for it. Stupid raiders. I hope we capture this guy and throw him in jail. I mean, for crying out loud, who does he think he is anyway? Yeah. Here you go. Yeah, they don't even have any commanders. Stupid raiders. Take that. I don't even think we're going to lose that many people in this conflict. We're going to punch that center. They're going to be broken. Those stupid raiders are going to fall. And then we'll join up. The raiders of Marwan. I hope they run. Yeah, they're down here. Don't you ever come back again. All right. I don't want to stand everybody down and raise them back up again. Oh, good. Levy reinforcement. That's always good. So what do we have? 6,900. I hope we have better generals. Now, where are the river crossings here? River crossings from Clydesdale. So we are going to wrap up to... No, don't go that way. Go that way, then in. They outnumber us just a bit, but I'm hoping our commanders will do the work. And plus, we have the French making their way. All right, we have a new pope that is outstanding. Come on, France, get in here. Oh, we're smashing the center very well. Things are going well. They've broken our flank, but our center can reinforce. Hey, France, sure would be nice if you hopped on in here. There we go. We're going to win the battle. It's going to take everything we got, but we are going to win. 28 war score there. 4,600 troops and little to no morale. So, do we want to... I mean, France is doing the hard work. If they siege this place down, we gain war score um, as far as capturing the war goal. We'll gain our morale a bit. We'll stand fast here. We have them outnumbered. Even more French are coming down the way. So, he is our son, yes? Yes. All right, let's educate him by someone who needs the opinion boost. Let's go by opinion and see if any of our landholders are unhappy. No. Nope. So you're the lowest. There you go. All right. Morale should be climbing up ever so slowly. France is going to siege that down. Oh, and the tie, the 43 gold, outstanding. Now let's march on in and finish what we started, eh? France is going to do a magnificent job in sieging that down. Looks like we are going to route the center. So this flank isn't... Wow, so the flank did some, uh, some funny business, but we have definitely um, trumped the Scottish army. Why did you give up? Why did you give that up? You know what, France? Fine, I'll go siege this down. You can go uh, mess with... Oh, crap, we're ill. Come on, don't die yet. We're still in the middle of war. So, France, are you going to attach with me? No, don't attach. You, you just go... 
unattach. I mean, we can just crush this guy. I mean, more power to us. I'm not, uh, I'm not, certainly not opposed to that. But what I would like you to do is unattach. Let's just go for the war goal while we can, and let's just assault the thing. I mean, if we're gonna outnumber them so much, let's put those French soldiers to work, shall we? All right, once we get there, yeah, it's 16 versus 2,000. I believe we are going to be set up well for the assault. We're only doing 4.5%, and it, since most of the French are here, it's going to be mostly French losses. So we'll go ahead and assault. Go. Assault. There you go. Take that. Excellent victory. We'll get our morale up once more. And then uh, assault this last holding here. All right, so our spy master is telling us our kinsman sinks to kill. A lot of people are plotting to kill. That is fine. Once we get max morale here, we'll go ahead and assault again. Oh, we're dead. But it doesn't matter. We have pressed that claim. All right, so we are now King Agil II, a 23-year-old. Now let's go ahead and get our affairs in order while we can. Let's reappoint Dub Lemna, and our marshal shall be Fothad. And go ahead and train troops in our capital if you please. We need all the reinforcement we can get. We're worried about the um, ruler being unmarried in a second. Nial, you are our court chaplain, good sir. And I believe our religious vassals, yeah, they really like us. We can send some gifts here. So our religious um, court chaplain can research cultural tech, because why not? I believe our chancellor can do make nice nice with any vassals that don't like us. Which right now is the Duke of Munster, who is reigning in poise. Okay. So we'll send her over there. Improve diplomatic relations, if you please. All right, so as we were saying before we were so rudely interrupted, we were going to siege the holding down. People are voting for the heir, which is to be expected. And assault again. All right, so we have taken the war goal, and it should just be a hop, skip, and a jump down to this army. We'll crush them with one fail swoop. Let's see, Konkin, Eugenia, and Nial. Damage, defense, the, the cons outweigh, or the pros outweigh the cons there. That's fine. We'll win this war quick, fast, and in a hurry. We'll take Moray, and that will set us up well to get organized a bit. So there we go. Us is in, and the French army is just piling on in there. They're assaulting the center. Very nice, very awesome. Morale damage there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the war. We will offer the peace. And we have usurped the title. We have captured Moray. And things are going to look awesome. Let's stand down. All of our retinue will be disbanded. And let's get stock of what's going on here. So now we can hold a total of 2,500 troops plus 4,200. How is our martial skill? Absolutely abysmal. I mean, very, very crappy. Let's just get married, though. We'll fulfill that ambition very quickly. So now let's get married. We have an Aquitaine Duchess who is only six years old. Let's sort by age and see if we can find a newly eight, 16 or 18 year old. Although now might be the time to look for, let's say a strong. No. All right, how about a, oh, we have some geniuses. I saw it. So we have a genius, an 11 year old genius. That may prove very good in the future. That is a congenital trait that could be inherited. She's 11. Let's see if we can arrange a betrothal. We lose 100 prestige, but we're going to gain some prestige from getting married. 
I want a genius in our family. All right, so we need to get the, yep. So now we are betrothed. Uh, she is going to age up at 16. So we have to hold on to this ambition for a bit, but that's going to be fine. All right, so we have some dangerous factions now. Elective succession you want at 70.9% of manpower. All right, we'll send you a gift. How do you feel about me now? Do you still want uh, elective succession? That is the question. As far as the voting is concerned, though, it's four to three. And I believe Demian is the... Was, is the faction? No, Fothad is the faction ruler. We could make him happier and vote for him. No, there he goes. Okay, so who do we want to vote for? Looks like Merchad seems to be the guy that everyone is... Oh, good lord! He's no general! He's just a mayor. What is going on? I don't I don't want this guy in power. I really don't. How's the martial skill? Four? Have I bred a family of wimps and wusses? Is that what I'm getting here? A two marshal. Where are my warriors? Where are my leaders? Where is my warfighters of Paul Muadib? Where is this crap coming from? This kid is a better general than all of you. You know what? It might not be very popular. But I think I'm going to vote for Eric. I mean, that's... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to vote for Air, Aircade here. I want people. I want someone that can be strong. Where is all Aircade? Aircade, you're my boy. All right, we're not holding a grand tournament. Um, we can see we've got our designated regent. We need four commanders. All right, how are you as a commander? Crappy, crappy, you're good. Bishop, you are a commander. The rest of them, I'm just gonna have to go with their martial skill. Our bishops, <laughs> the men of God are going to be the strongest fighters. And it, yes, even you, Helena, you are now a commander. And uh, Conlane? Sure. Conlane, you're a commander. All right, so it's still telling us about our claim that we can press. We currently own the Kingdom of Ireland, one Duchy of Leinster, and three counties. The County of Moray. It looks like we can pass those down. I think we need... Blah, 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 blah. We need our marshal up here to offset this. Recently conquered. We're going to be good in April. We can get our levy back. And then we're, we're down another six years for taxes and reinforcement rates. So our, our marshal is going to have to do the work for sure. But um, I think things are going well here. Um, I don't believe we have a claim or a de jure ducal claim on any of this stuff, um, the King of Ireland. Let's see if we can usurp that title. I wonder, wonder, wonder. We need to control 51% and we only control 35. So we need a few more provinces in this area if we are to usurp the title King of Scotland and claim the rest of it for ourselves. Now, I don't believe... We can offer vassalization. Yeah, we can't offer any vassalization because we are not technically their liege. We haven't usurped their title. So that's something to look forward to. So we, I believe we have a defensive pa or a truce for another 10 years. We can't move on Scotland for 10 years. We should shore up our flanks against England. That would be the way to go. And we need to start looking into retinues. Those uh, armies that stand, even though, um, even though you know we, we pay them like an army. Think of them as an army that never stands down, that is always there, ready to go. They would be crucial on this border with England. And besides, we can fabricate a claim down here on this guy and take the last remaining bit of land here. And in fact, 
No, we don't have a valid claim. So our chancellor, go ahead and move down here in August. We're going to try to claim that last piece of land and hope that England doesn't snatch it up. And that's going to shore up our borders pretty well. But that is going to do it for me in this episode, ladies and gentlemen, of Crusader Kings 2. We've moved up to Moray. And thanks to the, with the, to the help of France, we're able to just assault those down and make it a fairly quick war. But that's going to do it for me. Like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you in the next Crusader Kings 2 video. Take care.